Hey guys, Chuck Schumann from Oxmoor Toyota. We're here at the Kentucky Motor Speedway to bring you the brand new 2019 RAV4. Now, we're really excited about this vehicle. It's a complete, it's a complete overhaul. Also, safety-wise, this is a very safe vehicle. They've added Toyota Safety Sense P2.0. You can see that in the emblem there. It's a millimeter wave radar, and you've got a camera up there in the dash. This gives you pedestrian detection, pre-collision, bicyclist detection, low-light pedestrian detection. It also gives you lane departure alert and also lane tracing assist for when you're on the highway. It'll actually work to keep you in your lane when you're in dynamic radar cruise control, which is another great feature of that. Automatic high beams and also road sign assist, all standard in the new 2019 RAV4. Now you'll notice they did a major overall on the entire body, a brand new grille, a more aggressive, sportier look, LED headlights. You've also, it's built from the TNGA, so Toyota's new global architecture. And so this gives you a more rigid ride, which increases horsepower and also your fuel efficiency. It also adds to the dynamic styling, gives it a wider wheelbase for a more comfortable ride. This thing was uh, the best selling car in 2018. And I think they're gonna do it again just because they did such a great job overhauling this thing. Hey guys, we're in the Kentucky Motor Speedway viewing garage. We've got some of the competition lined up here with the Toyota RAV4s. On either side of me, I got a Toyota RAV4 and I got a Honda CRV. So they both get to combine the same fuel efficiency, 30 miles per gallon. However, the Toyota RAV4 has 203 horsepower versus the Honda CRV's 190 horsepower. With this one, you're working with the CVT and in the Honda or in the uh, Toyota RAV4, we've got an eight speed automatic transmission. So a true transmission. This is the interior of the Toyota Adventure Grade RAV4. And one of the things that I like about this is that new uh, display screen for the Entune audio system. You've got it up there, which is actually more uh, closer to your line of sight when you're driving. So actually, instead of taking your eyes down off the road into the lower console, it's actually more with your line of sight if you do have to check something there on your radio as you're driving. So one of the things I noticed about the Honda CRV is the lower radio head unit uh, also at a pretty extreme angle, and then that gear shift in a very awkward position. So the Toyota RAV4 also fares well against the Subaru Forester. So in our Toyota RAV4, you get 203 horsepower and 30 miles per gallon combined. In the Subaru Forester, you only get 182 uh, horsepower with 29 combined fuel efficiency. The, again, this is a CVT versus the RAV4's eight-speed automatic transmission. One of the things you'll notice about the Subaru Forester, uh, not a lot of flash, it's pretty sparse, uh, smaller uh, radio head unit there, and um, their radio system uh, is my least favorite of really all the manufacturers. And so again, comparing the Toyota to the Nissan Rogue, which is again, uh, some of the RAV4's biggest competition, even though the RAV4 came out on top. And again, the RAV4 has 203 horsepower with 30 combined fuel efficiency miles per gallon. And then the Nissan Rogue, you get 170 horsepower and then 29 combined on your fuel efficiency. Again, this being a CVT transmission versus the Toyota RAV4's eight speed automatic transmission. And one of the trends you see with a lot of these vehicles, um, the smaller uh, radio head unit screen. Uh, and if you look at this, this actually looks like our older radio head units that we had in like the 2017 RAV4s. So one of the things you'll notice is they have the smaller screen. 
there in the center for the radio head unit that's sunken back and it's still their sync system which is uh, troublesome and also seems a little bit antiquated uh, to my tastes.